Hey guys, so here we have a relay computer that I've been um, working on recently. It's a lot like the um, computers they used before transistors were invented that you might have seen in photos covering a whole wall. So mine doesn't have the operating power of those computers because I don't have enough resources to build one that large. But it can do basic multiplication, addition, subtraction, division, um, and it can count. And I'm, design, I'm designing a part that will allow it to uh, run programs, basic programs, like calculating the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, over here is the basic memory unit of the computer. It's called a uh, flip-flop. It holds either a 1 or a 0. And it changes its state when an input is put into it. Like that. So from a 0 to 1 or 1 to 0, and that's represented if it's on or off. So with that basic part, we can build um, an entire computer. So this section of the computer right here is the called the accumulator. And in a later video, I'll explain exactly how the accumulator works. But basically, it it's just a series of flip-flops, and each flip-flop represents a number that's exponential exponentially larger than the last. So it goes from uh, representing a 1 to a 2 to a 4 to an 8 to a 16, 32, and so on. So um, I'll show you a bit counting. So uh, there was this one represents a 1, then a 2. So count represents a 1, and then that goes to a 2, and then add a 1 to that, and it's a 3. And that's, um, and then it keeps going up to whatever number you've programmed it to go to. So I'll erase that. Over here is the multiplication section of the computer. So it's made up of three main parts, the distributor, the MQ register, and the memory register. So the, the distributor, um, all that does is it evenly distributes an electrical pulse between the MQ register and the memory register. So in the memory register, you can use these switches and adjust what number you're going to send into the accumulator, and the accumulator will display the multiplied number. The, what the MQ register does is it acts as a countdown timer. So it determines how many times that number goes into the accumulator. So if you, say, had a 7 here and a 2 here, it would add 7 to the accumulator twice, making 14, which is... 7 times 2. Um, to add, what you do is you use the multiplication part of the computer and you set it to a 1 with whatever number you want to add. So basically it's just that number and then you count up the other number that you want to add in the accumulator. So because it's multiplied by 1, it's basically just that number. So if you had say a 7 in the multiplication part times 1, that's still 7, and then you had a 6 put in here, then it would add the 7 to the 6 um, within this, and then you'd get your answer. Uh, over here is the inverter, which allows you to divide or subtract. Basically what it does is it, um, it inverts whatever number's in here, so if one flip-flop has a 1, then it'll turn to a zero or a zero to a one. And that allows the accumulator to represent a negative number. It it could also be represented as a positive number, but how it represents it as a negative number is that um, all the relays that are black are as if they were on, except they're negative. So it's kind of hard to explain, but um, I'll go into further detail in a, another video. So how it subtracts is you do the same thing with adding. So you just take a number and put it in here and multiply it by 1. So say a 7 in here. And then whatever you want to subtract in here. So say if you want to subtract 3, you'd put a 3 in here and then invert it. So it would be a negative 3. And that adds a 7 to the negative 3 and it would become 4. So then the way you divide is you take a number that you want to, uh, oh, I forget the word, the, uh, 
numerator. You take the numerator and put in the accumulator, and then you invert it, and then you take the other number, the, the denominator, and you put in the memory register, and basically what it does is the MQ register, instead of acting like a ta countdown timer, it counts how many times you have to subtract what's in the um, memory register from what, what's in the accumulator. So if you had, say, a negative 30 in here and then a 5 in here, um, it would keep adding 5 to the negative 30, and it would count how many times it had to add 5 to the negative 30 before it reached 0. So it would have to add it 6 times, and then it would display that it had count, counted down 6 times, and that would be... Um, that would be the answer. So that's all I have uh, for now. I'll make more videos uh, describing in detail how each individual part works. But for now, that's all.